there are, are thousands, no doubt thousands of Muslim Americans who could be great presidents and, and far better presidents than Ben Carson or Donald Trump. That is not, and, and, and there's nothing about criticizing Islam as a set of ideas or worrying about Sharia law that denies that fact. There are millions and millions of Muslims who do not take the barbaric passages in the Quran and the Hadith seriously and who are not uh, wanting to kill apostates and don't, and don't want to throw gays from rooftops. And those are not the people I'm talking about. I should be clear, in, t in criticizing Islam, I'm not criticizing all Muslims. Now, let me be very clear about this. I am not talking about an ethnicity. I'm not talking about Arabs. I'm talking about the logical entailments of the doctrine of Islam. I'm talking about John Walker Lind, the white guy from Marin who went to fight with the Taliban. I want to point out that I'm not talking about a race or a ethnicity. I'm talking about the consequences of ideas. I'm talking about, when I talk about Islam, I'm talking about John Walker Lynn, the white guy from Marin County who went off to fight with the Taliban. I'm not, to say that we're at war with Islam is quite distinct from saying that we're at war with all Muslims. Uh, this is not to say that we're at war with all Muslims. We actually are at war with Islam, which is not the same thing as saying that we're at war with all Muslims. It's not a matter of blaming all Muslims for the actions of a few. Every criticism of the doctrine of Islam gets conflated with bigotry toward Muslims as people. Right. And that is uh, it's, it's intellectually ridiculous. It should be pretty easy to see that my criticism of Islam is not racist. Uh, first of all, it applies with equal felicity to white Muslims uh, as to any other ethnicity. It, it applies more, perhaps, to somebody like uh, uh, Adam Gadan, who comes from Orange County and goes off to be the, the PR guy for uh, Al-Qaeda. The first thing to say is that I feel nothing but horror over this crime. Uh, these people were killed in the very prime of their life, at the, at the beginning of their adult lives. And they were, by all accounts, marvelous people. The truly secular, truly liberal you know, liberal in the sense of wanting human rights and, and, and being mm -hmm. tolerant of diversity. People coming from the Muslim world, these are the most important people in the world to support, in my view. I mean, they, I, I think these people should be made immediate U.S. citizens if they wanted. We're talking about ideas and their consequences. And everything we say about Islam or Islamism or jihadism, or depending on what the focus is, conservative Islam, is applies to white converts to the faith and it applies to people in a hundred different countries who and a, a wide variety of ethnicities um, if ever i say something disparaging about islam compared to hinduism or buddhism well then that has nothing to do with racism or the colors of, of people's skin i mean this is so racism and bigotry against people based on ethnicity or the country they're brought that has nothing to do with any with with uh, this conversation at all. And so this, this meme of Islamophobia that has been thrown up to prevent conversations of this kind is really quite destructive. Uh, in that, I mean, the, the hypocrisy here should be just shattering to liberals in particular, because you have, uh, as Maja just said, we are abandoning the women and the free thinkers and the gays and the public intellectuals and the apostates in uh, these are the most vulnerable people on earth in Muslim societies where you have you know, atheist bloggers, or not even atheist bloggers, just secular bloggers. People at Rafe Badawi. Getting hacked yeah. to death, you know. Um, uh, and liberals are not, not only not giving them any tools by which to better their lives, they are castigating the people who are trying to shine a light on this, the disproportionate nature of the problem here. It, you, it, to be gay or even a woman in a country like Afghanistan or Saudi Arabia or Bangladesh. I mean, these, are, these, are, these are unlucky places to be in, in a, uh, a minority of that kind. Um, uh, and so it's a, uh, uh, as we argue at some length in the book, liberalism has really failed us here. Uh, and it's not, and you can, you can criticize Christianity all you want, and liberals will never bat an eye. You can criticize Mormonism all you want, and, uh, but the, um, uh, the moment you try to shine a light on the problem of, I think, you know, appropriately described as Islamism for, the, for this conversation, uh, just the, um, uh, the full armamentarium of political correctness and, and um, uh, cries of racism just hits you full in the face, and 
it's just, it is a thankless job. Nobody wants to do this. Nobody wants to have this conversation because it is so poisonous.